Hi everyone, this is the Groovin' Chick, and today we're going to talk about candles. Um, I want to show you how to make a 45-day candle that everyone needs to have in their home, especially if they live in a region where they have power outages. But uh, first of all, um, I know a lot of people store taper candles in their uh, storage. And the only time I use taper candles in my house is around the Christmas dinner table. I don't think they're safe. I know um, they don't do well in most candle holders. I have tried the little waxy um, things that you put in the bottle of candle holders. I have hot glued them in. I have tried everything and I just don't like taper candles. I don't think they're safe, especially when you have pets and children. So uh, I buy them when I find them on sale, but I use them for other purposes and I'll show you, show you those soon in other videos. But taper candles are not something that I buy for um, power outages. I do buy pillar candles when I find them on sale, but I make sure that I always put them in um, some type of little glass container because I want to make sure that my tabletops are protected and the glass container will catch my drippings. I know a lot of times you can also find at Goodwills and yard sales these great big huge gigantic candles and I buy them even when they have been burned because there's still a lot of burn time left in this great big huge candle. And when my power is out, I don't care what color this baby is. It is giving me much needed light. Now, I really do prefer the glass type um, jar candles because um, my cats don't seem to be as interested in the jar type candles as they do a candle where the wick is exposed and they see that wick um, flame flickering and stuff. So I do prefer the jar candles. When I find these at yard sales and stuff, I really do try to buy these. But I still like to put these on the um, little glass trays because um, a few years ago I had a candle similar to this one and I didn't have it on a glass tray. I had it on top of a uh, antique liquor cabinet that I use as a TV cabinet and it burnt down and I uh, didn't pay any attention and it burnt a circle on top of my liquor cabinet. And if I hadn't caught it when I did, it may have caught my cabinet on fire. So just as a safety precaution, I now put all glass candle jars on top of a uh, glass jar when I'm burning them, especially when they get down low. So it's just an added safety precaution. And especially if you have children or pets, this is just an added um, precaution for tails and little fingers and stuff too. But uh, these are great to have. Um, if you have power outages regularly, you do need to stock up on things like this. This is something that I found that I really, really like. It's a Paula Deen candle, and it's got this uh, little um, metal lever here. And I thought this is really great to take and uh, hang off one of your shower curtain rods uh, when you're in the bathroom, doing whatever you need to be doing in the bathroom. Or you can take it outside, you can take it from room to room or whatever. But it's just a great little candle to have. So uh, when I burn that one completely down, I will be saving that jar and washing it out and putting other candles in it. But now, back to the 45 to 48 day candle. You use uh, just regular pure vegetable shortening. And I know you, everybody makes theirs out of Crisco, but uh, I'm saving bucks. So I just bought the off-brand vegetable shortening. You can make it out of the smaller jars of, of a shortening, or you can make it out of the big one. I thought, well, hey, I'll just go ahead and make it out of the big one to um, make it last longer. You can make it out of <clears throat> wicks that um, you make candles out of, which I have, but you know, I'm saving my wicks for another project. You can make it out of paper that you twist up really, really tight, which is totally free. And when I make some shorter um, jarred candles, I will use that because I know that would be uh, really easy to push to the bottom. But uh, using the taller one, I'm not sure that when I push this down, if that's going to go all the way to the bottom or if it's going to bend on me. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to use the paper in the taller one. I'm going to use some candles that I already have that I got on sale really cheap. So all you have to do is just, um, first of all, I'm going to take my lid off and I'm going to pull my uh, seal off. And I'm going to uh, smooth out the top of my shortening to get it nice and level. It won't take me just a second. Okay. Alright. Then I'm going to take my candle and then you would measure to the top of your rim, which I've already done, and then I cut it. 
to the top and then I'm going to push this down through the center of my shortening. And all the way to the bottom. Then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to push my shortening back around my candle. Now I wanted it just a little bit taller than my shortening so that when my candle starts burning it gets a good start going. And you can see it. I know it's hard to say. I should have used the blue candle instead of the white candle so that you could see it a whole lot better. But there's my candle and there's my shortening. Now when it burns it will pull just like a regular candle pulls and when you blow it out it will harden back up. Let it harden back up before you put your plastic lid on it so that it won't melt your lid. And this candle will burn from 45 to 48 days. And uh, it's safe to burn because it's vegetable shortening and it's something you cook with, so it's safe. And that's how simple it is to make a 45 or 48 day candle. Uh, if you like my videos, please click like. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget my 300 subscriber contest, which is going through uh, March the 30th, 2014. I'm giving away an All in Good Taste cookbook too, and I'm giving away a mandolin, and you never know, I may give away something else with that, so uh, subscribe, and um, to enter the contest, all you have to do is click there and tell me which one, one of my videos you like the best. Until next time, this is The Groovin' Chick Out.